welcome to my YouTube video. Happy Sunday. Today I'm going to be talking to you about why dieting is pointless. As I eat my overnight oatmeal. <laughs> if you've never tried overnight oatmeal in an almond butter jar, it's amazing. Have to try it. So I just have in here protein powder, oatmeal, and some strawberries. It's really good. Okay, I know what you guys are thinking. How can dieting be pointless? Let me tell you why. Typically the word diet in itself signifies that it's not something that's long term, it's a short term thing. When we are on a diet, we start to become very food focused. Not only do we notice it more, but food actually becomes more tempting and it becomes very hard to resist. This could potentially lead to a number of eating disorders and also binging. When you are trying to diet on very low calories, your metabolism is going to slow down significantly over time. Okay, you might start to lose weight on 600 calories, 800 calories. When you do that for a long period of time, your body is going to store, start to store fat. This also means when you do come off of that diet, the second that you start to add in more calories, maybe different types of food, you start to give yourself a little bit of a break, you're going to gain back that fat so much quicker than you would have if you kind of just chilled out a little bit, took it slower, and didn't do such a strict diet. Most of the time, actually studies show that 95% of people who adopt a diet end up gaining it back once it's done. That sucks. <laughs> What's the point? Weight loss or fat loss is not the key to happiness. <laughs> a lot of people think that if they lose a certain number of body fat or they lose um, a certain amount of, of weight, that they're gonna be so much happier, they're gonna feel a thousand times better and things like that, when that's not really the case. You might lose weight and of course start to feel better about yourself, but if you're compromising your happiness in order to do that, for example, giving up certain social events, not allowing yourself treats, making yourself go to sleep hungry every night, that's not the key to happiness. You might get to this certain place, but you kind of gave up everything else to do it. That's not the right way to do things. It's not maintainable. You can't do that for the rest of your life. And eventually, there's going to be a certain point where you can't keep doing it. You can't stick to it anymore. You're going to make yourself crazy. If you follow a certain diet and you're not following those guidelines and rules exactly on point, most of the time we do get down on ourselves and that's not the right way to be. However, I do not, I do not think that all diets are useless. I actually think that you should try all of them. <laughs> try every single diet that you can. And the reason for this is so that you can find what works for you, okay? So this is all about how your body digests to certain foods, how you respond in the gym, your energy levels, um, how you feel and how you look with your body each, each, maybe each morning that you wake up. So I do think that diets are useless if you are not, not planning on sustaining it for a long period of time, and if you're planning on just gaining it back afterwards, what's the point, you know? So, yes, you might look good for a period of time, but if you're just gonna cycle back through that, then there's really no point in doing it at all. In my opinion, I would say, cut yourself some slack and do it in a slower way to where you, you really think that you'll be able to maintain it. You're not gonna be fighting back those cravings, and you're not gonna be wishing you had this certain type of food and, and constantly thinking about your next cheat meal and things like that. If that's your mindset, then you're not following the right plan. And I can tell you that for a fact. So test some diets out, yes. See what works best for you. Kind of follow it maybe for a couple days, a couple weeks. See if it's working or not based on energy levels, health, the way you're feeling, your lifestyle. If it's working for you, awesome. Try to sustain that as much as you can. If it's not working for you, yeah, try something else out and see what works for you. There's, there's a million things that you can do and not everything works the same for everyone else. So my biggest advice is diets are pointless if you're gonna yo-yo back and forth and if you're giving up everything else in order to follow that diet. But if you're able to have that balance and structure and you feel good, you're completely on the right plan. Dieting will not also make you necessarily healthier. Okay, so if you're not getting the nutrients that you need that you need through foods. If you're on a diet and you're following those typical diet whatever type foods, that is obviously not the healthiest thing for you. If you're using a ton of artificial sweeteners that are zero calorie and stuff like that, that's not the healthiest thing for you. Now one thing that I do think is very useful and one thing that I implement with all of my clients and with myself as well is macro tracking. And the reason for this is because when you're weighing out your foods and you're plugging in your foods to you know maybe my fitness pal or whatever nutrition app that you have, you're able to get a visual idea of how much you are exactly eating. So that way when you come off of the macro tracking into maybe an intuitive eating 
lifestyle, you're able to really tell how much it is that you're actually eating and what's going into the foods that you're preparing, how much of it you're actually able to have and things like that and what works well with your body. My body might look better when I'm kind of focusing more on carbs than fats. My body might respond better when I'm focusing more on fats than carbs. That's impossible to know how much you're actually eating of you know fats, carbs, and protein without tracking your macros at least for a little bit of time. Okay, so this is the best way, in my opinion, to really see how much of everything you're eating and figure out your ratio so that way you can eyeball things a lot easier when you come off of this diet plan and off of the macro tracking plan into a more intuitive eating lifestyle. I always say that the foods that are put on this planet are for a reason, okay? So that's the foods that we actually need. So it, the foods that are made in factories and that are processed and things like that, that's obviously not the way to make you feel better. You might lose a little bit of weight, yes, because of the calories in it. It might be low calorie and stuff like that, but there's going to be a point where you might start to feel not so good and uh, you might actually get sick. You might develop certain you know, health issues because of the foods that you're eating. Your skin might look worse. You might be very fatigued. The list goes on and on about how, how much diet is so important and the foods that you put in your body that you, literally like what what is inside of your body, any diseases and whatever, I personally believe can be cured by food, can be cured by what you're eating. And that doesn't mean that you have to be on a diet, but it just means that you have to fuel, your, fuel yourself correctly to give yourself what it needs and everyone is different for that. If you're sacrificing your happiness and you're missing out on all these other things in order to do that, it's not the best diet for you. It's not sustainable. You have to find something that you can stick to to where you can make it into a lifestyle. So I hope this helped. Please like it and subscribe. I hope this helped. Please like it and subscribe. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next